Hi, this is Carrie Myers with Carrie Myers Photography at www.carriemyersphotography.com and I'm going to share with you a quick little tutorial on how to use our Autumn Leaves Falling for Fall action. Once you have your image open, you're going to just go ahead and play the action. And at first, when it's done running, you're not going to see any changes to your image. What's great about this action is it allows you to really tweak and customize your image to fit um, the look that you're going for. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue when it's done running. Now over here once it's done running you're going to see two layers. You're going to see the falling leaves layer and the optional finishers layer. The falling leaves layer is inverted so that you can paint on where you want to see that rich fall color. Obviously you don't want to see that on your, on your, excuse me, on your subjects. Um, so you're only going to use a white paintbrush to kind of paint around your subjects. So I'm going to do that now kind of see that rich fall color coming through and this is a great action not only for fall but for summer and late spring as well and if the if you want um, a little bit more toned down color then just go ahead and decrease the opacity of that layer so there we go I like that around 70 percent now the optional finishers um, this is where you can kind of tweak and really customize your image. I'm going to turn that on and then if you open up the folder you can see the different layers of the optional finishers. I typically always leave on hazy days of fall, rosy glades of fall and matte up my color but I will occasionally turn off the vignette layers. Um, there we go. I really like it about there. So I'm going to close that folder up again um, and occasionally I will adjust the opacity of that optional finishers layer just to bring it down a little bit if it's a bit too hazy. So they can kind of see before and after what that layer does for you. Um, and then the falling leaves layer. There you go. Um, when you're all done, just flatten your image and you're all set. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can find more tutorials on our YouTube channel. Just search for Carrie Myers on YouTube. And we'll see you next time.